Through all of the changes that our planet has undergone in its history, one thing remains certain. Our world is a strange one, full of new mysteries and captivating occurrences. We are constantly uncovering new and fascinating things that show us just how little we really know about our world and how genuinely surprising it can be at times. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three instances where humans uncovered something truly interesting and what it meant for our understanding of the Earth. Long Lost Continent Under Indian Ocean The seven continents across our world are among the first things every child learns in school, and it is easy to imagine they have always been the same. However, due to the shifting of tectonic plates across the Earth's outer layers, the configuration of the land and water we are familiar with today bears little resemblance to the configurations of eons past. Recently, scientists have discovered a small clue that gives us a sneak peek into the topography of the past. The discovery was made by researchers on the small volcanic island Mauritius, which lies east of Madagascar. Analysis of the volcanic matter making up the island allowed scientists to determine that the island was not much older than 8.9 million years, as that was the age of the oldest basalt on the surface. However, recent analysis of beach sand taken from two different locations on the island revealed several tiny zirconium silicate crystals that dated much later, from between 660 million years ago and 1.97 billion years ago. So where did these ancient fragments come from and what significance do they have for the researchers studying them? Bjorn Jamvit, one of the researchers performing these analyses on Mauritius, believes that the fragments are hundreds of millions of years older than the rest of the island, because they originate from parts of an ancient microcontinent that stood in between Madagascar and India in the Indian Ocean billions of years ago. This was until the shifting of the tectonic plates caused it to break apart and sink below the waves to fuse with the continental crust. Yamvit suggested that Mauritius lies above one of these fragments, and volcanic eruptions on the island caused fragments of the much older continent to be spewed across the beaches, where waves and time eroded the volcanic parent rocks into the zircons that the researchers found. To make this theory plausible, they had to rule out other locations as sources of the ancient fragments, which was not difficult to do. Mauritius is so remote that the nearest geological outcropping that could serve as a potential source of zircon is Madagascar, which sits over 900 kilometers away ruling out wind or water transport, and so few humans have been on the volcanic island that human contamination is equally unlikely. The zircon pieces were just the first indication of the underlying continent, as their presence only indicates one geographical region to the former continent, and the researcher's hypothesis suggests several fragments spread through the area. Further analysis of the gravitational field across a broad region of the Indian Ocean revealed that in multiple places, the continental crust of the seafloor is three to five times as thick as other areas of the Earth. Scientists believe that these large masses across the seafloor, combined with the geological proof in terms of the age of the zircon found on Mauritius, strongly suggest that there was once another continent in the region. They believe that it was likely a landmass that split from the nearby island of Madagascar during a tectonic rifting event that spread the ocean floor and pushed the Indian subcontinent eastward, forming this microcontinent that scientists have dubbed Mauritia into a large archipelago. As the plate shifted and thinned following this massive crystal event, Mauritia was eventually broken up further and sunk below the ocean's waves, leaving only remnants for humans to discover billions of years later. Arctic Walrus in Ireland He was first spotted by a young girl and her father walking on the Irish beach where Wally was perched, and his presence initially alarmed marine biologists in the area, although it seemed that Wally did not share their concern. Indeed, he began making the best of his situation and started hitching rides on passing ships, which is not always an easy feat for the blubbery mammal. Wally is approximately the size of a large cow and his antics resulted in the capsizing of a large dinghy. However, his hitchhiking was largely successful and he travelled approximately 450 kilometres south in just six days. Although he was heading in the opposite direction of his Arctic Circle home, 
He is surely making excellent travel time and would likely be home in a matter of days if he could only get pointed in the right direction. Wally's antics drew in quite the crowd of tourists, who gathered to watch him as he hitchhiked southward on his apparent vacation. However, the crowds grew so large and included jet skiers, surfers and paddleboarders that local conservation groups grew concerned that such a large human presence getting so close would disturb him and upset his progress as he made his way around, and were forced to remind tourists to keep their distance. Although Wally's behaviour was incredibly interesting to watch, he is not the first walrus to venture outside of his Arctic Circle home. Because they use shallow water to hunt for shellfish and typically rest and sunbathe on icebergs, it is easy to imagine how they can quickly end up far from home as they move down coasts and get stuck on floating icebergs. Between 1897 and present day, there have been approximately two dozen walruses spotted along the Irish coast, and if they are generally left to themselves, they will normally find their way back home. Mysterious Shark Disappearances Sharks are some of the most notorious survivors on our planet. Their ancestors can be directly traced back hundreds of millions of years, and, according to National Geographic, they have made it through at least four mass extinctions and are older than even the oldest fossil forest. However, as successful as they may be, scientists have discovered that they used to be even more plentiful in the oceans of our planet, and that 19 million years ago, some mysterious event decimated the shark population so drastically that they have never been able to recover. Recent analysis of denticles or shark scales found in fossilized samples on the sea floor has revealed an astounding array of shark species. These samples are abundant and impressively varied in the geological records dating up to around 19 million years ago, after which point the population of sharks in the open oceans across the entire globe mysteriously decreased by over 90%. Considering that sharks only suffered about 30% loss during the famous mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, Scientists now know that an incredibly large, worldwide event must have occurred to be able to affect sharks so drastically. However, the truly strange part is that an event that large should have left a mark in other places besides just the shark population. But, amazingly, nobody knows what that event could have been. There are no other markers of such an extinction in any species so far studied and the event is not chronologically near any known major climate shifts or major evolutionary changes. And, although the cause of this strange extinction is not immediately apparent, what is clear is the effects that such a dramatically reduced population had on the other open ocean animals. Following the extinction and the immediate removal of such a large portion of formidable ocean predators, an incredible amount of diversity appeared in groups such as fish, whales, other sharks, and even seabirds, who were able to evolve much more rapidly in the absence of a large number of sharks prowling the seas. Alarmingly, it appears that in the intervening 19 million years, sharks were never able to fully recover from taking such a mysteriously large hit, and a study published by Nature has found that the number of sharks in today's modern oceans has continued to fall. Even more concerning, this decline has sped up in recent years, and since 1970, the total number of sharks in the oceans has decreased by 71% and continues to fall. The discovery of the initial hit to sharks all those millions of years ago has just served to underline to scientists the importance of top-tier predators on their ecosystems and how precarious their positions truly are. It is increasingly likely that this majestic and historically incredibly adaptable species will not be able to withstand the effects of overfishing, environmental pollution and climate change. One thing is certain though, and that is the fact that marine biologists will be actively looking into the results of the mysterious, isolated mass shark extinction and how it affected the ocean ecosystems as we enter the age of several potential mass extinctions. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries and Wally the Walrus? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.